Hi, this is Bonnie Hawkins. Remember I said I'd rather be baking? And the sign says I'd rather be baking. Okay. Well, today, guess what? I'm baking. And I'm going to be making some homemade biscuits. And this, we're going to get started right here, right now on this channel. That is the Bonnie Hawkins channel. Okay. Two. Mm. You guys want to taste one first? Or should I do the honors? How about I'll do the honors? I'm gonna first I'm gonna eat from the the one that just have the butter on it. Mm. You guys wanna taste first? Here, I'm gonna let you guys taste first. Taste this other side. Okay, alright, so here we go. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You guys hear a little crunchy sound? That's underneath. <laughs> From underneath. Um, but that is so good. Here. Have a little um, biscuit with a little butter and jelly. Ready? Bon appetit. Mm. Oh my goodness. If you want to see how I made these biscuits, you might want to stay tuned on the Bonnie Hawkins channel. God bless you all. Okay, well, this, this is the ingredients I'll be using. I will explain them a little further in uh, just a second. All righty. So we're getting started right about, right about now. All right, again, so what we're using, we've got the, um, we're going to be using one cup of all-purpose flour. That's one cup. One cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to be using a fourth teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're going to be using one and a half teaspoons of, of baking powder. One one teaspoon of sugar. Three tablespoons of cold butter or margarine. And about a half a cup of, of um, buttermilk. All right, so we're going to get started right now. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm going to hopefully you guys are going to be able to see all, all of the whole entire process. Well, first of all, we're going to be, um, we're going to be pouring the, a cup of flour, a cup of flour in the bowl. Okay, some people like to sift, sift their, their, um, Flour first, but I'm good. I don't need to. I don't need to to sift it. And in this, we're gonna also add. This is a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna we got to be doing a lot, getting our hands dirty in here. <laughs> okay, so we're making we're kind of smoothing up this pan out a little bit, and we're gonna. Distribute the salt, the one fourth teaspoon of salt, all around within the pan. And we're going to put the baking powder. We've got a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. That's one teaspoon. I was supposed to be spreading it around. <laughs> and a half a teaspoon. Okay. And that's our baking powder. Okay. Okay, and we're going to be using 
a teaspoon of sugar. Now some people don't like to put uh, put sugar in there, in their their biscuits, but I do. At least in this particular one, I'm going to. And then we're going to do. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our whisk, and we're going to take the whisk, and we're going to simply stir all of this, all the dry ingredients together in here in the bowl here. That is the flour, the salt, the baking powder, and the sugar. Okay. Stir it all together. Try to get it all even as possible. Because once you put the the wet ingredients in, you do not want to continue you do not want to do a whole lot of, of stirring because it will make the bread come out flat. If you ever wonder why you put baking powder in your in your um your stuff and you do everything you're supposed to be doing when you're baking and you uh but you keep on uh doing a lot of stuff with your when you're talking about biscuits and you keep on doing other stuff once you push your wet ingredients in well the reason why that is they'll turn out maybe hard and even flat or won't rise as much is because you're probably putting too much um i mean you're probably messing with it too much once you've uh, put the the wet ingredients in there but anyway, here we go. So now we got three tablespoons of butter or margarine. It should be cold. Okay. This was cold. It was refrigerated. It should have been front of which kind of butter. We're good. So what I'm going to do, let's move this right here. I'm going to cut this three places like this down once. Now this has actually got soft on me, <laughs> but that's okay. It's better for it to be um, refrigerated or semi-frozen for the, the best way to do that. Okay, so so far I've cut it four, four strips as you can see. Now I'm going to cut it four, four times this way. And since this butter is soft, I really didn't need to cut it off as much as I did. Uh, but I'm going to cut it also again. Flip it over like this. And then I'm going to cut it again. Okay. Okay, so once you've got it cut, okay, you got all your dry ingredients. And now you've got, got I'm about to put the butter or margarine, in my case it's margarine, in this bowl. Put the, this. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now you see I've gotten that in there. Now what you want to do, I'm sorry guys, I really should have a close-up of this, but I got the front forward camera going on, and you cannot, um, on this camera, you can't, uh, bring the camera in. You can't bring the, you know, in and out. You can't do the focus in and out thing. Okay, so anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, and crunch all this up. First thing to do is to cover it all up. Cover all of it up. Coat everything in the flour. Coat all your, all of your, um, margarine or butter in, butter in the flour. And then start squeezing it. Until you get all that little lumps out. Keep squeezing it. Each individual piece. Your hands going to get messy. Your hands should be washed first. And I did wash my hands first very well. And um, before I got started. The process here. And uh, so you see what I'm doing? I am coating it. Cutting it, I mean, uh, getting it into a little small bites here. I mean, little small pieces. I got to put the bowl down. It's kind of heavy. This is a really, <laughs> really heavy glass bowl I'm working with. I probably should have used a plastic bowl. But I'm going to squeeze, continue to do that, what you just seen me do. I'm going to continue to do that until this looks like it's crummy. 
Okay. Once this this uh, mixture here starts to look clump, crummy, and there's no big pieces of um, butter or margarine, or in my case, margarine left, um, big clunks. Because keep in mind, once you get the uh, your wet ingredients in, is what I'm, what I'm about to do in a few seconds. Um, you don't want to handle this too much, other than what you need to do to get the to make the to make the um, your biscuits. To, you know when you need your biscuits. Okay, got you got you get a little stuff on your hands. Don't worry about it. That's a part of this process. Okay, and now I've gotten this pretty much. You know, pretty much where I want it. Now I could have used the whisk, like some people use the whisk and and dab it and keep you know doing all of that. But I use I use my hands in this one. In some cases, you might see me in some videos, and when I'm doing this, I might uh, be just using the whisk. Whisk. Okay. And so now this is actually how I would like for have it. Now what we're gonna do? We are going to put a. Some people call it a well. We're going to put a little well in the middle, and this is where we're going to pour our milk. Okay, and so I'm going to do it, try to do it in front of you guys. I'm not going to put all this in at once, but I'm going to put most of it in. And this is a half a cup, but I'm using a little less than a half a cup in there. See, there's a little left in there. And now, what you're going to do is take and bring it together. Okay. You can do you can do the stirring motion. Just do whatever it is you're comfortable and used to doing. Okay. So you're just bringing it all together is what you're doing. You do not want to handle it too much if you can help it. Okay. This is not. This is not. Um, of course, everything is not the texture that I like. So I go in with the rest of the milk. You can always add to, but you can't take away. Okay, that's my motto. Okay, and now I've put uh, all of the the rest of the the milk in here. Now, if this was too sticky and too loose and too uh, you know liquefied, I would put extra flour in it. Okay, now. Okay, you're gonna keep it on up until you get it the way you want it, until you think it's ready to uh, for you to handle to start the kneading process. See, this is exactly how I want it. Okay, and so what do you do once you get the once you get the get it the way you want to? Then you're going to take and I'm gonna take it out so you guys can see it better because. And you're going to have to excuse my hands because, remember, I'm working with, <laughs> working with this. Um. Now, you see, I have this exactly the way I want it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my stuff out of the way here. And I'm going to try to put this on pause so I can bring you guys in a little bit more. I don't know if I can or not. All right, let's just go on pause. Okay, I'm back. And now we have the dough, as you can see. Um, this is the, the dough for the, what you call Now, I don't know how this happened because this rarely happens. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've actually made the homemade uh, biscuits. But I got it so... That I don't even really need uh, flour, and if I do, I'll just put a little teeny bit in, in there. But so, what you want to do now? You got your your dough. You can kind of pat it a little bit. You don't want to mess with it too much. Okay. Now I really wanted the small um, cut biscuits, but all I could find <laughs> was this, and I was in the store and I was looking for. Um, an actual biscuit cutter and it didn't have it in the store in which I was looking for it. Okay, so this is what we're doing. 
I'm going to make sure that I have layers. Layers. So out of this, I probably won't get more than two to three biscuits. Probably two biscuits. <laughs> but um, because of the size of the cup. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm. This is how you get the layers by doing this. Okay. Fold it one time. Fold it again. And if you need to put a little flour on it, let's take a little flour and put it on it. Okay. Fold. Okay. So all together, I think it'll be four folds that I've done. All right. Now, you don't want to mess with it too much once you get your... Um, your foes. <laughs> so, okay, now what we're going to do, excuse me, okay, you want to grease your pan, which is something that you should do early. I didn't do it early, so I'm just getting it done. Pam, okay, so you just spray your pan. Okay, I put a little much on it. Okay, I don't think no one wants that, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show I'm gonna do the see if I can get two out of this without having to. They say just push down and don't twist, but I twist and pull. <laughs> I twist and twist. Okay, and then I can get the second one. So I got two full biscuits. Now I might make a little this so they said waste not want not. So I may end up making a third um, biscuit. But, okay, so this is what you want your biscuits to look like beforehand. If you want the bigger, the thicker biscuits, this is how you want them. Okay, like that. Then you're gonna place that on your pan. And you have the second biscuit. I believe I'm gonna end up with three biscuits. Um, same size all around on the pan. And now, yes, I do have enough to make a third one. Remember, we do not want to work the dough too much. That's the main thing, okay? But yes, I can get another one out of here. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and do the fold one time in this particular one because I've already had folded. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not going to do anything with that. Extra, a little bit after I make this one. Okay. All right. Okay, and that's the last biscuit. All right. Now you want to make sure there's no flour residue or anything left on the biscuits. Okay, so I was able to get three biscuits out of that. Okay. And here's my biscuits. Okay. A little bit. Some people say put them together. I like mine like that. I like to do mine like this. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a dab of milk. Okay, take a dab of milk like that. You can use milk. You can use um, shortening. You can use uh, soft butter. Soft butter. So what I'm going to do is dab, dab in the milk like that, and I'm going to just pat a little bit across the, the top of the thing. Dab in the milk, just pat a little bit across the top of your biscuit. Dab in the milk, and just put a little bit across the top of your biscuit. So now I'm going to put these in the oven. I got my oven over here. I'm about to move you guys over to the oven so you can see what I'm doing from there. So I'm going to put you on pause. And here's the biscuits before I put them in the oven. Okay. Put you guys on pause. Stay tuned. Okay, I realize I'm back and I realize my camera is crooked. But I can't straighten it up right now. Okay. 
So now we have. So now we have our biscuits all ready to go in the oven. I'm going to guesstimate 10 to 12 minutes. I will check them within 10 minutes. Okay, and I got my oven set on on 425 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put my biscuits in right here. Okay. And we're going to check back in a few minutes. Okay. All right. All right. Again, this is me, Bonnie Hawkins. And we're going to check back in a minute. And we're going to check back when the biscuits are ready. Hey, okay. Looks like my biscuits are ready. So... I've had them in there about 17 minutes because I wanted them to get brown. So now we're going to turn off the oven. And yeah, I would say they're nice and brown. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Wow. Look guys, isn't that beautiful? I know they plumped up on the top because I forgot to, to uh, dab them a little bit. Ooh, this is extremely hot. I can't remember I haven't made biscuits in quite a while. <laughs> so I would say I've done fairly well considering. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on pause. Well, okay. So here's the results of the biscuits that I just uh, made. And again, as you can see, there's, they're big and plumpy. How about that? Well, we're going first. We're going to try to let me see if I can get you guys down. I can't. You see, I'd rather be baking, and that's what I did. Ma made some homemade biscuits. This is Bonnie Hawkins. Okay, and here's my homemade biscuits. I'm going to cut them, and I'm going to add a little butter and a little jelly. Okay. All right. So, I think I'm just going to cut two up. Alright, let's cut the two ones that are kind of... <laughs> Here we go. Cut it. Y'all see how fluffy, how big and fluffy those that is, the biscuits are? That's what you were looking for. Okay, I'm going to cut up this one. Okay. So there's two biscuits, and this third one we're just going to leave on there for somewhat decorations for now. <laughs> okay, and now what we're going to do, okay, here's my, okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of, a little margarine, which I preferred butter, but I don't have any butter. So we're going to add a little margarine, again, remember. I'd rather be baking in that. Okay. All right. And so now we're going to add a little. There we go. Look, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Mmm. Butter's ready to melt before I even get it on, on the. Uh... Okay. Here we go. There's the butter. A little bit on the top as well. <laughs> and you know, once you take it out of the oven, I forgot to do this also. You could actually oops, spread a little butter on the top. Okay. And now I'm going to put a little jelly on my, on my plate. I'm going to put the jelly in a little dish. Okay, so I'm going to put a little jelly in the dish here. Okay, 
So there's my jelly. Okay. And there's my my dish. God bless you all. This is me, Bonnie Hopkins. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of jelly on the here. A little jelly. Put a little more jelly on here. You know, if you like jelly, just put as much on it as you like, okay? It's no, it's no how to and how much to. It's how much you want. Okay? So I got the jelly and that. Okay. Mmm. 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 All right. Mm. I hope I don't have food on my mouth. If I do, you guys, excuse me. But, <clears throat> again, this is Bonnie Hawkins, and this is my homemade biscuits. Um, uh, made from regular flour, all-purpose flour, regular salt, no-name baking powder, um, imperial margarine, um, sugar also, and buttermilk milk <laughs> okay but this is delicious boy all righty okay so thank you for tuning in to the bonnie hawkins channel okay we'll see you in our next episode god bless you all <laughs>